public and we have to disturb them in ways that all the media. I said that you know, I was in a little bit not stress enough about how important uh, good media is for startup founders. You know, it helps them to build uh, their own brand as well as their company at the same time uh, when they're growing. But you know, when you're actually going public, you need to become more silent. You also need to be more sort of uh, uh, the complex everyday working of the business becomes very different versus in what you have in a startup. So you think our founders in some sense are ready for this, you know, to, uh, to come at this crossroads. We're already seeing some, you know, outside missing them, back home missing issues. They're all sort of being caught up in the web of, uh, you know, uh, somewhere between their personal brand and their businesses uh, going at crossroads. So, how, how do you see no, that connection happening? And you know, how do founders need to probably become mm -hmm. more accountable towards mm -hmm. both mm -hmm. sides that they're trying to manage? Yeah, I think it's a great question. And this uh, mm -hmm. concept uh, that you keep founder brand and company brand different is not possible. Ultimately, founders, at least in the startup world, are extremely integrated with their company and business brands. And you can't separate the two. Today, of Zomato, but until the stock price was below what it opened at, social media, personal it's really, really mean. Today, Vijay of BTM on social media, he gets trolled all the time because the stock price is still below the IPO price. So if you think that you somehow are going to get out there and manage your brand differently with a classic marketing type of strategic assessment that my brand stands for this and my company brand stands for this, these are the values I will represent my company. This is not happening. These are the old When communication was one-sided, when there was no social media, you could communicate to the world what you wanted using broadcast media and all that made sense. Today you put yourself out there hoping that you will represent certain value but very soon that conversation is out of your hands. Right? Today brand means what? What are people saying about you? Not what you are saying about yourself. That is what a brand is. So I think it's a double-edged sword. In my personal view, unless and until you as a founder have a clear purpose on why you want to build a personal brand you shouldn't venture out into that zone. It's very dangerous, you know, uh, to use uh, an analogy. It's like shark infested waters, right? You go in for a nice swim, thinking you're going to have a fun frolicking time. And pretty soon there are sharks circling you. Because, you know, as they say, the US when they arrest you, whatever you say can and will be held against you. So, social media is a low better way, right? 90% of the people on social media are not adding any original content. They are simply ripping apart everybody else who is making content. So they are waiting for this opportunity. So, as I said, you know, the benefits are what? Uh, as a public company especially, you get mentioned a lot in PR. Okay? Your brand profile goes higher. Hiring, which is usually a big problem, becomes a little easier. You know, uh, particularly if you have a founder, branding, you can attract more people because people respond more to human beings and they generally respond to companies and brands, right? So I think all that, you get invited to more parties, right? So, yes, are benefits there, but on the other hand, a slight wrong step and people will rip you apart. A quarter of the risk here, customer, mean, people think as a founder, you are the chief customer support officer. I'm not kidding. Today, even in India, this is very interesting. Even today, if a Tata Motors CEO goes to a party, good high-end party also, I guarantee you that the people will say, Sir, that the Jaguar is bad for two bar service will be better than you. This is very common. It's very common. So, so I think it's a double-edged sword. You have to be very clear and careful. It is not you know, an a priori event that it is preordained that if to build a great successful company, you must have a strong founder brand. In fact, 
If you look at the numbers, the best performing companies on the stock markets for a long period of time do not have strong founder brands. Many times you don't even know the name of the founder. You can look at that even in India. Does Mukesh Ambani? Yes, he has a great founder brand because he's the richest, one of the richest men in the world. But does he have a social media game? Not really. He doesn't do anything on social media, right? So there are a lot of people like that, right? The, so, so I don't think these are necessary. Uh, if you get attracted by the glamour alone, then you took a Shields example. I mean, he's being hauled over the coals. If he had not spent all that time on social media and instead spent time addressing this problem, he might have been behind it. So, मतलब करना है तो सोच समझ के करो भाई वहाँ पर मतलब एक बार वहाँ उतर गए तो कुछ भी हो सकता है